Captain Paul Watson, North America. Welcome to my legacy. Sea Shepherd's completely different than Greenpeace, whereas Greenpeace was a protest organization, uh, Sea Shepherd was an interventionist and is an interventionist organization. Uh, I just got tired of watching uh, whales and seals die and just taking their pictures, so uh, that's why I set up Sea Shepherd to be a much more aggressive organization and to, uh, and to get results uh, through direct intervention. When we um, set up uh, Greenpeace, uh, we, we put out membership numbers. Uh, we were the founding directors, and uh, Bob Hunter's was uh, zero, zero, zero. So I'm actually the number eighth, not the number seventh. But I, I asked for zero, zero, seven because of James Bond, uh, you know, at the time. And right now, unfortunately, we're living in an era of the destruction of beauty. We're living in what is called the sixth major extinction event in the history of the planet. It's even got a name called the Homocene. We'll destroy more species of plants and animals between the year 2000 and the year th 2065 than we've la than have gone extinct in the last 65.2 million years. A defining moment uh, in my life, I mean, one which really set me on a completely different course, was uh, in June of 1975, and uh, I was um, a member of the Greenpeace expedition to the first Greenpeace expedition to protect whales and. Robert Hunter and I had come up with this idea of putting inflatable boats between the harpoons and the whales so as to protect the whales. Uh, suddenly the captain on the Soviet vessel came down the catwalk and uh, he screamed into the ear of the harpooner. Then he, he looked at us and smiled and he went like this with the, across his throat and that's when we realized Gandhi wasn't going to pull us through that day. And uh, a few moments later there was this incredible explosion in this Harpoon flew over our head and slammed into the backside of uh, one of the, the whales in front of us. And suddenly I uh, saw a trail of bloody bubbles coming straight towards us. And he came up and out, at, out of the water at an angle so that he was going to come down and right on top of us. And as his head rose out of the water and I looked into this eye, uh, you know, an eye the size of my, my fist, I, I, I saw something that completely changed my life. And that was understanding that the whale understood what we were trying to do because the easiest thing for him to do at that point was to come forward and crush us, but instead he, I, I saw his muscle strain, he pulled back and he began to slide back into the sea and I, I saw his eye disappear beneath the surface and he died. The Russians didn't eat the sperm whales, they used the whale for oil, spermaceti oil, and uh, which used for high heat resistant lubricating oil and one of the things that they used it for was to, uh, was to lubricate the, in, the, in the manufacture of the intercontinental ballistic missiles. Happiness, well, happiness really evolves around doing what you want to do uh, in life. Uh, and for me, that involves uh, working with Sea Shepherd, uh, it involves going to sea, it involves writing poetry, it involves writing, period. It involves, uh, you know, music, it involves uh, romance, it involves all of these things. I started rescuing beavers at 11, and by the time I was 18, I was uh, the youngest founding member of Greenpeace. And uh, so I've been doing what I've been doing all of my life, and I don't really believe in retirement, so I'll be doing it all the rest of my life. So that is my life mission, really, is to um, intervene to protect uh, marine wildlife and also to uh, inspire volunteers to understand that they can make a difference. For years, we were called pirates for what we do, and I... Uh, I said, okay, uh, you know, if you want to call us pirates, we'll be pirates. And pirates don't have bureaucrats telling them they can't do things. And really, when you look at it, the biggest pirates of all are presidents, prime ministers, and heads of states. But um, so we do it more out of a romantic endeavor, and uh, you know, finding a catchy, uh, a catchy symbol to rally around. And uh, thanks to Johnny Depp and Pirates of the Caribbean, it's even given us a more of a boost than, uh, since then. we have a message to get across it's this if we uh, if we destroy the fish we destroy the oceans if the oceans die 
we die. It's as simple as that. We cannot live on this planet with a dead ocean. So our defense of, of whales and dolphins and fish and sea turtles out there is really a, a form of self-defense for all of humanity. We protect the whales and the dolphins and the fish so that they can continue to do their service as crew members on planet Earth to sustain our life here on this planet ocean. That, I believe, is my life's mission, is to act in the present in order to defend the future.